And uh, it's a great pleasure to host you here today and that finally we would also have an opportunity to invite you to Bled and to Pukluka, which was actually planned already two years ago, but due to COVID, which uh, definitely affected a lot uh, our society, but Pukluka is the World Championships as well. Um, yeah, that's the past, I hope. Um, but nevertheless, um, I would like to show you a bit the legacy of the World Championships uh, that we have hosted two years ago, actually a year ago, uh, in Pukluka. And uh, of course, after each World Championships, there should be a kind of a reset, setting the new strategy. And I would also speak a bit more about that uh, later on. And uh, of course, uh, it's a Biathlon World Cup coming in Pukluka uh, at the beginning of January. And uh, I would give you some update on that as well. Um, so uh, what the World Championships uh, brought to us in Pukluka um, last year, actually we have strengthened our organizational team. Uh, we, had the, we introduced the new roles into the orga organizing committee and we gained a lot of new members uh, to our OC. We are currently at 850 active members, which are regularly working at our events. And we had conducted the last uh, World Championships with 554 uh, members of the organizational team. Um, of course, we also introduced uh, some of the venue upgrades. Nevertheless, uh, we are the venue which lies in the National Park, Triglo National Park. So all of the investments are very limited in this area. Um, so we are more and more relying on the temporary infrastructure. But of course, uh, this is uh, the setting that we have and we have to, um, we have to adapt uh, to that. But nevertheless, uh, we, we reconstructed the courses before of the World Championships, which have been tested at the last World Cup back in 2020. Uh, we have introduced the new, the new uh, coaches' corridors, the new entrance to the stadium, um, and uh, we did the new event layout, uh, which is now going to be used also for the, um, for the World Cup. But we will speak more about that once uh, we come later on today to Pukluka. Um, it was very important for us to bring uh, the, the venue itself uh, up to date with the um, technologies. Um, so uh, we had to um, build 15 kilometers of the fiber optics to brought it from Bochin uh, to Pukluka. So this was uh, one of the major investments beside the electricity that was also brought. So we have two lines now coming to Pukluka, and this year we would also introduce the big battery. Uh, probably you have heard about this project that was uh, already used in uh, Ruppold uh, this year. So we would like to avoid uh, the, um, the power generators and be more sustainable, what is also uh, part of our strategy for the future, which I will talk more later on. And uh, what we also did is that uh, we put a lot of the fiber optics and electricity in place at the venue. And uh, with that, we have enabled all of the broadcasters, uh, all of the pre-cabling at the venue and uh, easier work uh, during the championships. Um, of course, uh, we did some of the uh, local upgrades as well. There was a new northern ring uh, built in Bled so to avoid all of the traffic that we have been used uh, uh, through the center of Bled. Uh, we, we rebuilt, refurbished the road to Pukluka. Uh, we built three new turning points, which are enabling uh, the new logistics, especially in terms of the parking and the transportation. Uh, and we built the third lane uh, in Pukluka, sorry. The third lane in Pukluka, uh, which is uh, one kilometer long which we can use uh, for, the, uh, for the parking of all vehicles uh, in Pukluka. Um, of course, we have also enhanced uh, the cooperation with the national and the local institutions and the other stakeholders, and this is a very solid ground now uh, to work in the next eight years uh, when we are planning 
the World Cup events and also the other major events in biathlon in Pukluka. Uh, so this is uh, really important for us. Of course, uh, speaking about the legacy, also the development of the national team is important. Um, we have a data that 60% of Slovenians actually watched at least one, ga one competition from the World Championships. And this definitely speaks about the good promotion of biathlon within Slovenia, of course also internationally. The second data which is also very positive is that uh, 10 days ago we had the national championships uh, in summer biathlon in Pokljuka and we had 190 athletes from youth, junior and the senior categories in Pokljuka for the first time. So biathlon is really getting more and more popular uh, within the country. Uh, it was also important for us that we introduce Pokljuka to the international market, to the international uh, society, because uh, we definitely believe that with Bled and Bochin, which are really the tourist jewels, we can attract a lot of foreign, uh, foreign spectators to Pokljuka. So we have been very active with our uh, promotional activities. Uh, probably you have realized our Biathlon Tourmobile, which have visited most of the World Cup venues a year before the championships and promoted our championships uh, to the spectators. We had a very uh, successful House Pokljuka at the World Championships in Anholz in 2020. Uh, and uh, we definitely hope that all of these activities uh, were not, uh, let's say, just an investment, but will bring back the spectators now when we can have them at the World Cup uh, in Pokljuka. We have also introduced the new mascot, uh, which is called uh, Jurček, and uh, there was also a book uh, written about the new mascot and the whole story behind. It calls the treasure of the Pukluka Dwarfs. And uh, of course, as a retrospective, uh, your colleague Marian Fortin also wrote a book, uh, Pukluka 25, which summarized all of the competitions that were actually held in Pukluka in the recent 25 years. Um, we are proud of uh, the good uh, media interest interest of Pokljuka. Uh, we had 7% increase in our views in eight, in nine crucial uh, markets of biathlon. So 160 million uh, television viewers actually followed the World Championships. Uh, if we are talking about the overall number, this goes to 184 million uh, of, uh, of the television audience. Uh, which is definitely a huge success, not just for Pokljuka, but for biathlon as a sport uh, in general. So, uh, as said, I mean, after each World Championships, it comes a kind of a reset. So, we also need to reset our strategy for the future. And uh, we have decided that we will continue, uh, that we will um, actually uh, work with all of the three pillars that we currently have in, in Slovenia of biathlon so that we would combine um, the forces of our national biathlon team, uh, the organization of the big uh, biathlon events in Pokljuka and uh, the center, the biathlon center uh, Triglau in Pokljuka. Um, so because we definitely think that uh, to connect all of the three pillars definitely brings uh, advantages for all of us uh, in, the, in the next eight years where this strategy is, uh, is set. Um, so if you know, we have introduced a new slogan uh, for the World Championships, Slovenia for Biathlon or Love for Biathlon, but now, uh, which will stay, but with the new strategy, our strategy is now focusing on the sustainability and we are not uh, talking just about to be as a sustainable event, but of course uh, to be sustainable in every step of organization. So therefore our new slogan will be make it last. We would definitely like that all of the activities that we are doing will last and will be uh, sustainable for the, next, uh, for the next decades, at least for the eight, eight years that the strategy is set. Um, we set also with Pokljuka an ambitious goal that we would become an exclusive boutique destination 
uh, that would offer a higher quality of experience, which would be also sustainable. So definitely we cannot have in Pukluka um, 20, 25,000 spectators, but uh, we would be a venue between 10 and 15,000 spectators, but we would like to offer all of the spectators a higher class experience in conjunction with the uh, tourist jewel of Bled and also all of the services that they would be able to experience uh, in Pokljuka. Uh, of course, uh, we are more than just a host of the World Cups or the big biathlon events. Uh, this year, we have been uh, hosting the, the Open European Junior Championships and the Junior Cup, which we took over from Hochfilzen, which can not organize it due to COVID. Uh, we are a regular host of the OPA Alpen Cup biathlon competitions of different summer camps. Uh, we regularly work also within, with, within the uh, National Federation Partnership Program, so to uh, help the other federations to, br to bring biathlon to the higher level. Uh, we are organizing different summer camps during the summer, and uh, we would also invest into in the extent of, uh, of the courses uh, to use for the summer biathlon. Uh, there is a plan to, uh, to build next year 1.3 kilometers more, so we would have in total 2.5 kilometers of the roller skis uh, tracks uh, in Pokljuka. And uh, there is also a project I would like to mention that we have conducted this year. So uh, we have helped uh, 62 Ukrainian athletes, coaches, their supporting personnel, a safe environment for more than three months in Pokljuka. And we have raised uh, also with the help of IBU more than 200,000 euros uh, for this program and to host uh, these um, athletes uh, in Pokljuka. And I think that this also shows a big uh, heart and support that uh, Pokljuka has. Thank you. About the World Cup, which is ahead of us, uh, of course, with a new slogan, uh, make it last, indicating the new strategy of Pokljuka. We will have uh, the World Cup from the 4th of 8 to from 4 to 8 of January, so the usual date of Oberhof hosting the World Championships next year. Um, so, uh, more or less, uh, Basically, you know the program, four days of, progr uh, four days of competition starting on Thursday uh, and finishing on Sunday um, with very interesting races. Um, and uh, the project that we are doing this year is that uh, we would bring to Pokljuka on Thursday and Friday, so the first two competition days, over 2,500 kids from the Eco Schools which will also conduct a project regarding the sustainability within the schools, and then they will present that in Pokljuka. But of course, we would like to attract the younger generation uh, to biathlon as much as we can. Then Saturday will be reserved for the traditional Slovenian music party. And Sunday, we would have, um, we would have activities for the families, so we would have a lot of activities for the children, music surprises and so on. We will organize free transportation with the trains uh, from all over Slovenia to Bled and then uh, up to Pokljuka with the buses. So we would like to introduce biathlon more and make it attractive also for the families. Um, Bled as a host city, of course, with many uh, accommodation facilities which are improving from year to year is really important for us. And I'm glad that this year we would have a biathlon fan village at the center of Bled with, uh, with the winter fair, with the concerts and so on. And this is also an activity uh, with which we would like to fulfill the demands uh, of the international uh, spectators uh, coming to Pokljuka. And uh, of course, uh, speaking about our athletes and ambassadors, uh, we are really happy that uh, Anna Maria Lampic uh, joined Biathlon, and uh, we definitely ho hope that he, her first race 
will be in Pukluka on Thursday, the first day of, uh, of the World Cup in Pukluka. And this gives us also a possibility that we introduce uh, biathlon to the cross-country society, to say so, and to show them that biathlon is, of course, much more attractive. Um, thank you. That was uh, a presentation about the Pukluka. Uh, however, um, I'm really glad that uh, we can introduce you Pukluka you're also and Bled in person. So we will start with the bus uh, at 2.15 from the hotel. I would ask you to bring some warm clothes with you uh, because it might be a bit chilly in Pukluka. So we will first uh, stop in Bled. We will go up to the castle and uh, to look overview of Bled. And then we will continue to Pukluka where we will have also a biathlon shooting competition uh, with a very nice prize. It will be a signed BIP uh, from, the, uh, from the champions, uh, from the biathlon world championships in Pukluka, which of course the best of you will receive as a prize. Uh, das Forum Nordicum wird unterstützt durch die Deutsche Avia Mineralöl GmbH.